Welcome to Soundbridge Music's featured artist interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shape the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're here today with Shanna Hoar, otherwise known as Shanna in Address, the featured Soundbridge Music member artist for April 2018. She dubs her music quirky folk pop from a clever millennial who sucks at dating. Shanna not only brings her smiling wit and talent to venues around the front range, but also hosts the Women in Song series at the Laughing Goat in Boulder. 2018 is likely to be a lively year for Shanna, with a busy performance schedule shaping up and some exciting projects on the horizon that we can't wait to hear more about. So uh, Shanna's been kind enough to sit down with us today and, uh, and answer some of our questions. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So uh, how would you describe yourself as an artist? Ooh. The thing I care most about when I give a show is for it to be fun. Um, as an artist, I I don't take myself too seriously. Like I want to sing about things that I'm thinking about and things that, I don't know, have been on my mind lately. And I always want to put some sort of fun twist on it. Or, like, what's a way I could, I don't know, take something that could be heavy and like bring levity to it so that I've had, I'm not going to finish this sentence, so I've had people tell me, oh, you kind of use humor to draw people in, but then just kind of, <clears throat> that's when you, like, stab the knife in once they're listening. Uh -huh. So, I'm not a, I'm not a comedic musician, but... As an artist, I'm just, I'm a lyricist. I have a story to tell. I have, I think about words and language in a unique way, and that comes out in my music. Sweet. So uh, what inspiration lies behind your music and your involvement in the local songwriter com community? Hmm. I, I just love people. I want to be around them all the time. Like on the extrovert introvert scale, I am like a clear E. Mm -hmm. And um, I want people to make, and that's what, what that's why music's so awesome is because it brings people together. And even if it doesn't bring people together um, physically, it does emotionally, you know? So um, I could connect with 30 people at once and even if I only talk to two of them afterward. So it's my access to getting to know people. It's their access to feeling seen and heard and understood because uh, almost everything I sing about, I would hope, isn't unique to me. Um, and then bring that further into like the physical realm. I just, I want, I want people to sing with me and play with me. And um, I, I want to help kids like I go to songwriter I'm a what a song circle slut <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I go to all the song circles because I just want to hang out with other musicians and learn about their processes and what they're making and um connect, connecting with artists as a whole even if they're not musicians um they get it so uh what inspiration lies behind your music that's funny when people ask me um, what do you write about? I'm like, I write about everything, like anything. But there is kind of a general theme of relationships and just like all the nuances of them. They're so, it's so much more than like, I'm in love with this person and uh, I'm tired of this person, you know? Like I, what was the most recent one I wrote? The most recent one I wrote, which I haven't finished yet, um, the chorus of it is, I'm a mirror, mirror, tell me true. Do you like me or do you just like you? And um, my like vision for this is like, you're getting to know someone and you are holding up a mirror to your face and they keep coming around. Like, are they coming around because they like you? Or are they coming around because they're making you feel good? So that's like an example of like a nuance that I, fascinates me and thinks of, I think about. 
What inspired you to become a part of Soundbridge Music? So Soundbridge is all about giving back to artists, mm-hmm. right? Um, bringing people together in community. And that's, that's what I care about. I'm never going to be an artist who sits in my room and records 500 songs and listens to them when I want. Like, those are all, that's dead art to me. So um, I want to share, I want to be, I want to contribute to other people. I want, um, I don't know, we're all in this like crazy thing called life together. (laughs) So like, and ultimately it comes down to just helping each other out. It's a tricky balance to play when your career is all about you and your music and you are your product. You have to put in a lot, a lot of energy and effort to make sure that you're contributing to other people too. So that's at the top of my mind all the time. Because ultimately, like, my life isn't about me. It's about other people. And I think Soundbridge is really aligned with that. What does a day in the life of Shannon Dress look like? Well... I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy, but not, actually. Um, not just a little bit? No, I don't think so. I'd have to chat, chat with him about it. Um, I take care of a few different uh, quadriplegic friends. So I help them get out of bed in the morning and get ready for their day. And then I start my day. I usually have a few different lessons. I teach... Um, Guitar, piano, ukulele, um, voice, songwriting, and French horn. And then I have a show. Oh, at some point I have to go on the internet and prepare for the future in terms of um, social media and booking gigs and everything. Like, all of that business. And then I often am playing a show at night or going to someone else's show. And and I always get either yoga or a run in. Nice. That's it. So where can people go if they want to find more about your music? They can go to facebook.com slash Shanna and Address. They can follow me, Shanna and Address, on Instagram or go to shannaandaddress.com. I just said Shanna and Address so many times. Um, and the best way to keep up with me is to sign up on my email list, which um, you can fill out on shannaandaddress.com. And I send out a newsletter twice a month. And it's a fun newsletter. So actually, even if you hate my music, you should probably sign up for it. I recommend the newsletter. I'm on the newsletter. It's wonderful. And I have a YouTube channel that has like five videos on it. But what I'm really up to is my next project, which is being able to solidly answer that question. And um, in order to be able to fund all of the professional recordings I would like to have, I'm going to be launching a Kickstarter campaign uh, on April 25th. And that is going to be set off with a Kickstarter kickoff party at a, at Still Sellers on Wednesday, April 25th at 6.30. Yes. <laughs> Can you confirm that? 6.30? <laughs> or is it 6? 6? Oh. It's saying 6 to 8. 6 to 8. You're going to want to get right. there at 6. Yeah. No, it's 6 to 8. Okay. That's right. That's totally it. <laughs> um, and hopefully it's just going to be a big um, party of like Longmont musicians um, playing sets, perhaps our very own Tim Austin. It's gonna happen. Yeah, and um, Bonnie and Taylor Sims are gonna be playing a set, I will. And I'm just, hope. hopefully I can enroll enough people in, in my vision that that will be a successful thing. It's, it's terrifying. Oh, uh, it always. I'm like, I don't like, I don't like the asking stuff. Yeah. But a necessary evil to create the light that you want to create. That's exactly right. Beautiful. Anything else you'd like to tell your fans or the listeners out there before we go? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just really want to do that. Cause love ain't money, no, it won't.
If you haven't seen Shannon and Jess perform, you'll have several chances coming up in April, including her Soundbridge Music featured show on April 25th at Still Cellars in Longmont from 6 to 8, and that's also her Kickstarter kickoff show. So be sure to mark your calendar for that. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back in May for our Featured Artist of the Month. If you're interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org. I do quirky, clever folk pop from a clever millennial that sucks at dating. Ding! Ding! <laughs> and then maybe make my teeth sparkle.